Hello and welcome to my channel. Look at these parts. All of these nice, shiny, dirty, you name it. Well, can you guess from which vehicle this is? Drop in the comment section if you think you know where it's coming from. And you're not gonna believe where it's come, or what vehicle came from, or brand of vehicle. And it failed due to lack of maintenance. There's a lot of information that says you're not supposed to change fluids. You need that greedy stuff in the transmission. Well, I don't know. I don't know how much of the greedy stuff you need in the transmission unless you want to support executive credit card execs, executives with their bonuses. They love credit card payments because it goes to their pockets. When you have bearings of this size, you need fresh, clean, fluid, quality fluid. Transmission these days run hot. That high heat breaks down fluid much faster and it becomes thinner. Look at all this stuff. Fluid so dirty that it looks like a gear oil. So thick, so due to dirt, metal shavings, you name it. I'm gonna cut the filter, show you guys how much is there. Look at this. Look at this discoloration from all the dirty fluid. Look at the solenoids. Look how much buildup is on it. How in the world is this supposed to work? Fine, when you have all this buildup of dirty fluid and the worn out material, metal and clutch, and from the clutch, then this is the transmission, U660. And I have another one, so I'll be taking it apart and showing this step by step. So don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see it just for entertainment or to learn it. Thank you.